Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Lives review for December 4, 2017. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So, we see Kate still guilt ripped, and she only told Andre what she did. Now, she's telling Stefano she's sorry, and she know how much Stefano loved the yo, and that it's her fault that he in the coma. No shit, Sherlock, but keep on saying it. Say it a little bit more louder next time. Maybe somebody will catch your actual ass and rain your goddamn neck, which is Chad going to do once he find out it was you. You better guard your neck, guard your hair, guard your face, and guard everything else. Because I've got a feeling Chad going to get you. We see Lucas walk in. You mind, you got one of those drinks for me. Kate happy to see Lucas. She ain't seen him since the last time he came storming. Well, stumbling in her, stumbling into the mayor mansion. He said, do you know Will, the, Will is alive? He said, yes, I know Will is alive. I saw him before Sammy had him kidnapped and helped him hostage and all that. Kate said, what do you mean by kidnapping and you saw him and what do you mean? Elaborate more. He said, well, Sammy thought it was a good idea to have Will kidnapped, relive the moment he died, but she be in the room with a damn gun, saying if things would have got worse, she would have ended up shooting Ben and stopping it right then and there. Kate got mad in her feelings, talking about she can ring somebody neck. Oh no, honey, the only neck gonna get rang is yours. When um, the only neck gonna get rung is um yours. When um Chad find out what the fuck you did, Chad or A, whichever one get to you quicker. None of the ones gonna be ranking your neck while you wanna ring Sammy neck. Ring your own damn neck. That's what you do. So they taught. Hold on one second. Oh yeah, so he tell him about this, what Sammy did. Kate said, bring up Theo and says, I'm the reason Theo, no, before she said he, she the reason Theo in the coma. She ain't seen Lucas in a while. She thought he didn't know nothing about Will. Then somehow Theo came up. Not really sure. I ain't forgot now. But somehow he comes up in the conversation. Not really. I'm trying to think how the fuck that came up, but I can't think right now. Oh, it's something about. I don't remember that. Jesus, I don't remember that scene, how that came up about Theo. I knew how the drinking came up about the wheel thing. Well, how's I'm drawing the black when it comes to Katie? And, uh, um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. She um said um Kate did with that, and she said I'm responsible in some bullshit. I don't remember how it came up, but anyways, don't. She said Theo. I mean, Lucas didn't know about the Theo thing, but he knew about the wheel thing. So he says. Wait, Theo in the coma? She said, yeah, you would have known about it. You wouldn't know two week bender. Damn, it only been two weeks of him drinking. <laughs> Seen longer. Well, 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 well. Lucas, enjoy yourself, I guess, two weeks on the bender. Okay. But, how can I put this nicely? Okay. Why I get you trying to help your son in the um rehab, trying to help him get in the right. Sit your ass down. You the reason he's drinking in the first. Okay, no. This is why that boy would never go to rehab rehab on your account on on your account. And you know that. That boy ain't finna think about thinking about no rehab. I ain't finna go to rehab rehab on your damn time. God, you think about it, his childhood. The Adrian thing, no, we it's just a constant build up, and half of the damn build up is you and your childhood and the way you've been treating him ever since this man was a grown ass man. So, nice try, K. That man ain't going to rehab, on, he'll go by anybody else. Mean, like, let's say Maggie might throw this idea at him, one of his family men. Hell, they will throw in that, and he might go for Will. You. No, honey, he ain't going nowhere for you. Why would he waste his time going to rehab? You ain't no motivation enough. You not motivation enough for him to 
wanna stop stop drinking, get his life together, get himself healthy and sober for real. You not gonna be the um cause of that for him getting healthy or whatnot. No. So I don't know why you keep on mentioning rehab to him and why you want him to go so bad. For you the one that said that you done it. Uh-uh. Look at see through your cones and he ain't here for it and I'm not here for it neither. Then we see her before that. I said it too early. But before that, she said it's my fault that Theo in the coma. Meaning, I had him shot though, but... She ain't tell him that she only told Andre this, but she said it was a business thing. He was working for the mirror, and he ended up getting shot, and I'm the C COO, and I didn't protect him like I should have had protected him. So it's kind of my fault, but now it's kind of my fault. Lucas said that don't make no sense, but he said since you said okay, then we going to just run with that, and we just going to move the hell along. Okay. You can talk about Reagan, um, Sam and Nick all you want to. You don't want to understand me, even though Sam do deserve it for doing well like she did. You ain't got no damn room to talk. A, hey, B, good luck trying. C, you gonna get what's coming to you, hopefully. Maybe. I hope so. So, we get to Steve and Kayla. Still no change on Theo. Um... Kate, not Kate. Kayla brings up about Tripp and how close he getting to Claire. She say, yeah, they getting close, but not the way you think as in friend, friend, buddy. He really got feelings for um, Miss Thing and now that Theo in the coma, yeah, this not a good situation for him, man. It's only going to be hurt. It's going to be worse for him, man. I want to give him that advice, but I know I ain't never been there all his life. I'm just not knowing him, and as much as I want to give him this advice and tell him, don't do it, tread lightly, watch yourself, I can't because it won't feel right. Once upon a time, Kayla had questioned Steve's judgment about his parenting of the child, well, him disciplining the children. She said, for the most part, you're a good father, and I know what you was doing was out of love, and I know you ain't going to do nothing that you shouldn't do. Then Steve brung up Kate's name, and then this whole that found Theo phone deleting the messages. This Kate and this deleting the messages and messing with Trip Head. Kate got the got their phone and Kayla not knowing about it because she said, I ain't never had this um, conversation with Trip before. So, who had this conversation with Trip? Because I sure didn't tell Trip about what happened. I mean, who was it? Was it Kate or was it whatever it was about that situation? So while the whole time they're talking, Steve putting two and two together and realizing, yeah, Kate must have had something to do with this. And let me investigate a little bit more on father for I can see what the hell is going on. But I can put a stop to it and not stop it in his tracks. Too late, um, Steve, too late. You should have done that a little bit more earlier, but... I appreciate you trying, at least attempting to try. Claire, I'm only doing this cause Sierra in it. Don't think I like you. I still ain't had my I still ain't changed my feelings for you. I still think you a little asshole and you gonna stay an asshole, so I'm only doing that for Sierra and this ties in with the hope in the semi storyline. So let's go ahead and get your little tidbit on out the way while I'm speaking of your name. So, we saw after the candlelight visual, okay, why do people want to say that here for nine? Claire and Trip up there by the Hort they in the Horton Town Square, they hugging. Sierra pulls up on her, well, her dad motorcycle. Now that we know who the hell motorcycle that why I had a feeling it was. I thought Hope might have sold already or whatnot or whatever, so. We see them. 
Claire happy to see Sierra. Sierra not too happy and too fun to see Claire is, and I don't blame her. Basically, we start over when we left off at when these two helpers when they first met each other. Basically, Sierra still feels, long story short, and I ain't gonna go for pound for pound. I'm just gonna say how I feel and who in the right or who in the fucking wrong. Claire, you can act like you didn't do nothing, but you did something. You did walk over that girl by any chance you got, and you took advantage of that girl by any shot you got. Sierra getting her revenge on you. I'm kind of here for it. I want to see her go out to you. Sierra, you got to learn. Don't let bitches walk all over you, because as soon as they know they can put the first foot on you, they're going to continue to walk all over you, and you going to sit there like the man you are, so... You got to learn to never let a bitch put you to that place where they can walk over you, tell you what you're going to do, manipulate you, lie to you like she did the whole time you went up. Well, can't all blame Claire. Now that I'm thinking of now this whole shit coming back up with the three rain circle with Claire and Sierra. Sierra, well, I can call Claire an asshole. I can call you one bad. Cause remember, you had feelings for Chad, you broke up with Theo, saying he wasn't fast enough for you, saying he wasn't more than experienced with you, you wanted a better man, uh, some type of shit you said then, back then and then, Theo wasn't fast enough for you, you wanted a better man, an older man, a mature man, some bullshit you said, and you went out to Chad, remember that? And far as Claire's concern was, he was a free man. You went and got your heart broken by Chad, or you thought Chad was going to try you and sleep with you, which you should have known better knowing that old man, that, well, he ain't that old. Knowing that man wasn't going to sleep with you, do none of that. You were trying to get closer to that man via Thomas babysitting, and you thought you had an opening in there. You ran for it. You tried to shoot the basket. You got a, you flunked in the basket and you didn't make the shot. So, I blame you there for breaking that boy hard because you told that boy he wasn't fast enough when it's meant for you. You literally pushed Claire or what you literally pushed Theo away from you doing some bullshit like that. That's how Claire got him and he got um, Theo in her spot away. Now, Claire, this is where I say, you can go to hell. You had him. Wait, did you have him at that time? I don't remember if you had him at the um, Sierra. Did you have him at the Sierra and Theo broke up? I think you was dating him back. I think you was dating him. I'm not for sure. But anyway, Sierra, you lost your chance, honey, when you had your chance, when you was running behind Chad thinking, oh, he he old, he experienced, I want him, he a mature man, Theo wasn't your speed and all that, you had your chance, you lost him, Claire, you did do some shady shit when it came to the letter, being insecure about Theo and um, Claire relationship to Claire. Sierra relationship, you did some shady over the hand bullshit with petty bitches like you do, or bitches that don't know no damn better do what you shouldn't have done. You did do some overhand bullshit. I'm glad Sierra brought up that letter, because that letter was the most important part. That was basically the whole last hoorah when it came to Theo. Best to read this letter if you want me. I'm here for you. If you don't, I understand. Claire, Claire, you should have um, not interfered with the character that letter. That was kind of fucked up and kind of shady. How you just interfered with the whole entire town. She left a voicemail on this phone. You deleted that voicemail. Like I said, both of y'all helpers can be blamed for both situations. Sierra, I'm glad you grew on the backbone and now you're not letting hoes run over you or whatever. But I can't blame Sierra, I mean, blame Claire and not blame you too. 
Cause both of you bitches was wrong. In my opinion, both of y'all was wrong. Claire was wrong for the sneaky shit she did. You was wrong for trying to go with an older man thinking this older man wants you and it didn't work out in your favor. And now you right here alone with a man and Claire and got your damn man. Well, best that you handed them to Claire after that point cause you wanted Chad so damn bad. So... I understand you, Sierra, but not really. That been a, what, a whole year ago since that happened? It's time to move on with your life now. Move the hell on. Yeah, I can see how you want revenge with that, but is revenge really worth your happiness? Still in a coma. I mean, that's not going to bring him back truly, but I know it'll feel good for you. Just like when you got to your mama, your mama was happy to see you. And sh you talk about the motorcycle and you were being the ass to your mama. I blame you, hope for the... Well, I can't say I blame you and... Yes, I can say I blame you and hope for both of y'all raising her like that. Y'all raised a sport, Brett. There you go. You see how she talks to you. She ain't even got respect for you. And best of the thing, you were insecure about it that moment. Rave your job and your relationship she bring them all up and used them against you so right here driving around on a motorcycle with no motorcycle license yeah that's gonna look good and right here don't know how to ride about motorcycle but yet she on one so okay hope that's your little brat you have fun with that wouldn't be my brat talking to me like that but if you like it, I love it. And then that's, yeah. Now let's wrap this shit on up with a good old salmon. So as you saw, it took a moment for them. They finally had sets. Wait, 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 wait. Still got on the hope shit. Still got hope shit to do with the salmon shit. They both tie in with each other too. So back to home. The four Sierra came into town. We see her attempting to call Ray, but didn't call Ray. She got there and quashed and played with her phone, drunk her coughing. We see Sean and Miss Thing walk in. I know Miss Thing now. I'm just going to call her Miss Thing for now. So we see them walk in. She happy to see her. They catching up, they talk about Sierra, they talk about Bo, and then talk about father figures, and Hope tell them that Han huh, Ray broke up. We got Belle and Sean trying to encourage her to go back out and make it work with Sean. Make it work out with, make it work out with Ray. And don't give up. Y'all just on a little break or whatever. Oh, okay. And that's what we call a break having sex with somebody else. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Well, let's run. With, well, I hope don't know Sam and Rafe had sex. So we finna get to them now. So we see them talking. They end up talking, they end up kissing. They tried to kiss about two times and they stopped. They did their thing. They had their pillar talk on the side. They had their pillar talk on the side. They talked, they talked about Grace and how big she got. They talked about hope and what's going on. That was the weirdest pillar talk, pillar talk I ever heard in my life. How y'all went from fucking to talking about each other, talking about children, then be talking about the fiance, and Ray tried to break his neck trying to get out the room. Wait, before he about broke his neck, Sammy, how you gonna tell that man to go back to his fiance after you done had a night in the bed with that man? How, how does one do that? How? You best be telling this man after you didn't. I want to say it, but I'm not going to say it. How you going to say this to this man after you didn't. How you going to say this stuff and you didn't have sex with that man and then rolled that man happy stick? Ain't going to send him back to his. What kind of. 
I swear this shit only happened in real life. Now it's happening on my soul. Simon, did you really just send some rap on his way? Out there, you ain't had your night. Well, it wasn't a night. Your hours are play. Well, your couple of hours are heaven with rave. Getting back in the saddle with rave. You gonna really tell this man, okay, now going back to your fiance now. Try to make it work. Put that rain back on your finger. Go back to her call who I'm pretty sure she waiting on you. I'm like, so you fucking, you didn't got your fun. Y'all sit up here talking and realize it was a mistake. Well, Rafe realized it was a mistake, not you. Hope came in a conversation and now you didn't have your fun. Now you sending him out to his, to, to, now you sending him out back to his feet. Really, right? Really, Sammy? Really? Okay, Sammy. We, we, we gonna excuse you cause we know you ain't right in the head. You is not right in the head and you proved that. Rafe said no cause if he go home, Gabby gonna have questions. I don't want to answer these type of questions. So I guess that he's staying the night or whatnot. He gonna stay the night anyway. Then he gonna stay the night with Sammy. Okay, y'all. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.